What's up guys, welcome back to Austin Make Stuff. This week we're making this very practical picnic table for chickens. <laughs> So you start on making a squirrel feeder picnic table, next thing you know you're making picnic tables for chickens. I don't really know how we got here, but here we are. So before we get started, make sure you subscribe to my channel, like this video, share it with a friend. Without further ado, let's get started. So on this project, we're going to start with this tabletop, which is also kind of a tray. So let's cut this board, and in this case we're cutting it at 16 inches and 3 eighths. Tip top, we're gonna to make two rail pieces that are exactly the same length. So 16 and 3 eighths for those two. Now we've got a tabletop and our two rails that are exactly the same. So we just need to cap off the ends here. do is make sure that the seats are exactly as wide as the tabletop. We're going to flip this whole thing upside down. I'm going to make two supports that go underneath the table that are 15 inches long. Okay, so I've got two spacer blocks that are 3 inches and I want to keep these boards underneath three inches from the side, so I'm going to put these flush on this side. I am going to take the opportunity to make this flush on both sides. I'm going to put a mark right here on the end of the side. I'm going to take my three inch block and I'm going to put it on the edge here make another mark on all the corners. This will be just kind of a reference as to where my legs are going to end up. For my legs I'm going to turn my miter saw to 20 degrees so I want mine to be 10 inches long. So we're going to make three more of those so we have four legs total. So now I've got my four legs. Let's go attach them to the tabletop. So what we're going to do here, we know that this line is where this back side of the board will meet the bottom. So what I'm going to do is attach all these legs on that three inch mark as well as that line right there. I made a mistake that I wanted to let y'all know about so that you don't make the same one. Uh, when I had these four legs on, it prevented me from sliding this on the way that I thought I could. So it's better put three legs on, then slide this on, and then you can slide this all the way to the top, out of your way for right now. And then we're going to attach this one. So now, with this other leg screwed back in, We'll push this down, to where it ultimately goes. Alright guys, thanks for watching. Make sure you subscribe to my channel and share this video with a friend. 
In the description box, I'm gonna put a link to the detailed plans for this. So go ahead and click on that and download it if you wanna make this yourself.